Thousands of young people are diagnosed with cancer each year, and some are in great health when they get the news. That's exactly what happened to a local champion wrestler whose will to beat the disease is inspiring others. Lindsay Buckingham has the story. Growing up, Tim Tusick was the picture of health. In high school, I was a wrestler. I, I was a happy kid. I had everything going for me. Life was good as he headed to Kent State in 2018. I wasn't wrestling anymore, but I was still working out two to three times a day. And towards the end of that first semester, my workouts started getting harder. I, I was someone that was in amazing shape. You know, why can't I walk to class? Just a cold, he thought. But then, as months passed, he knew it wasn't. And I woke up. There's blood all over my chest, all over my face. At University Hospital, the words of his nurse, he'll never forget. I can't believe you're alive. She told me that my hemoglobin level was four. The nurse also said your spleen is the size of a football. I see my dad out in the hallway, he's crying. He's talking to the doctor. My mom's sitting next to me and she's crying. In the ICU, his parents would tell him. You, you have ALL acute lymphoblastic leukemia. My godmother came in. She goes, what are we doing here? I said, fighting. Tim watched his strong athletic frame shrink. The only time I've, I've cried during this treatment was the first day I came home. I got out of the shower and I looked at myself in the mirror and everything I had worked for in wrestling um, was gone. The tears didn't last. Tim had work to do. I never stopped working out. I never stopped doing school. And he never stopped thinking of how to help others. So when the Leukemia Lymphoma Society reached out. They have a campaign called Students of the Year. Tim kept fighting. And they compete with each other in a span of seven weeks to see who can raise as much money for cancer research. We sold t-shirts, posted on our social medias, had Super Bowl squares, we raised $960,000. It was a record-breaking year. Nearly one million for cancer warriors. And the fight led him to this moment. <laughs> Cancer-free as of July, thanks to health heroes at Angie's Institute at UH Rainbow. As far as my team goes, they're the best team. They care about me. They support me. Many people aren't as fortunate as me. But I hope they can look at my story and they'll be able to be motivated, keep believing in themselves and have a positive attitude. Lindsey Buckingham, 3 News. And Tim continues to raise money for cancer warriors. His father is now battling the disease he helped him beat. Tim says, of course, he will support his dad the entire way.